do what you love and follow your passion. I have my goals, I have, I wanted to always play in a big club like Juventus. If I am alone, I'm listening a lot of Justin Bieber music. Football is growing every year and I, I can see it. I can see it also in terms of the level in MLS. Of course, I love the food, I love the food, I love eat. They have the best kitchen for me in the world, so that was the thing for sure that I missed. It. The past season, we had a lot of problems, a lot of issues, a lot of things that, that was not right. The culture here and, and the tradition is to win, so uh, of course we want to win something important this year. And I'm here with Adek Milik. Now, what has it been like playing in front of a North American crowd? To be here and, and to spend the time to prepare for the season here is like, uh, it's really beautiful, it's amazing, it's a beautiful experience for us. And you got to meet a lot of fans, a lot of people that, you know, maybe have never even been to Italy. What, what is that like, just seeing that connection in North America and seeing that the culture, the team, it really resonates with people? I'm happy of that because I see the community of people which are uh, interested in soccer in, in America uh, are growing every year, so I'm happy of that. There's many kids that uh, wanted to see us and uh, wanted to make a picture, a signature, and i um, happy of that, really, because we are playing for, for the people, not only for ourselves, not only for the teams, but also, specifically, let's say, for the people. And, and then uh, it, it's always nice to make them happy and, uh, and spend a little bit of time together. And looking forward, obviously, the 2026 World Cup will be USA, Canada, Mexico. How different do you think the football culture is here compared to Europe? It's different. Of course, in America, it's soccer and football, it, it's not a main sport. Of course, there are a little bit more important sports than, uh, than, than soccer, but for me, to be honest, it's uh, I'm happy that football is growing every year and I, I can see it. I can see it also in terms of the level in MLS of the league. We love to spend the time here. The, the people from Europe like to come here in America, not only to, to play, of course, but also to spend the time here, vacation. And um, that, that, that's something nice. And you were back in Italy last season. Uh, how was that like? And is there something in specific that you missed the most? Of course, I love the food. I love the food. I love eat. So uh, Italian are the best. Uh, they have the best kitchen for me in the world. So that was the thing for sure that I missed it. But uh, yeah, I came back to the big club. So for me, for me, that was the, the, the main reason. And looking forward uh, to this season, I'd love to know what some of your objectives are. Of course, we wanted to play Champions League next year. The past season was was we had a lot of a lot of problems, a lot of issues, a lot of things that that was not right. And I hope this season will go in the direction that we want to go. And uh, and of course, we have a quality in the team that uh, we are able to to achieve the things that we want. Um, I will not say directly what we want, but of course we want to play good games and, and it's too early to say um, where, we, where we're going to be at the end of the season. But uh, if you play for Juventus, uh, the culture here and, and the tradition is to win. So uh, of course we want to win something important this year. Why do you think the club is pushing you know, these American collaborations and really trying to reach this market? Uh, from a couple of years, there's like culture like um, the clubs like to spend the time here. They like to bring the football culture here and they like to uh, collaborate with, with the brands, with, with the people, with the places. And uh, that means that, that, the, that football, specifically in, in America, is growing and, and is becoming uh, bigger. So that's always good. Canada, Toronto. It's got a lot of music. Do you have any favorite Canadian artists? In, uh, in the dressing room, we used to uh, listen to a lot of reggaeton music and Italian music because, of course, we are Italian, a lot of Spanish also people. So, like, uh, we like to be in a good mood before the training, after the training. That music helps us. But, of course, in my, if I am alone, I, 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 uh, I'm listening a lot of Justin Bieber music because I just love the, love the songs and love, love his voice. What's your favorite Justin Bieber song? Uh, let's say Purpose. And you've played all over Europe. Obviously, it's a transition, different culture, different language, different fans, different style of play. What is the easiest way to make that transition? Do you have any advice for younger players that may be looking to follow in your footsteps? If I have an advice, uh, I would say um, do what you love. I mean, uh, follow your passion. Of course, it's difficult to go through all the stages from the really bottom if you don't love what you do. If you, love the, if you have the passion and if you love what you do, it, it will be much easier. And unfortunately, you have had you know, some serious injuries, some setbacks in your career, and it takes a lot of mental strength and a lot of physical challenges as well to overcome that. 
What was it for you that kept you going? What, what was kind of that mental strength that you found to get you back on the pitch? I had a lot of passion in myself, obsession, because I have my goals. I, have, I wanted to always play in a big club like Juventus, and that was in my goal, my main goal. So, of course, the injuries were, were a part that it happens. Sometimes, sometimes uh, the things that you, you can't control can happen on the pitch, especially on the pitch, because the football is a sport that there's a lot of contact over there. Uh, the intensity is very high, so the injuries are, are, are part of the game. But at the end of the day, it depends how we how we're looking for for those injuries and what we are taking back. So if we are learning from them or not, I took this as a, as a motivation, and I was like, okay, I wanted to play in the biggest the biggest club in the world. I take this like a motivation. I don't. I'm, I'm not uh, thinking about anything else and just go forward to do that. All right, Eric, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you very much.